but you, you also, in your list of categories, which I agree with, uh, and I recently wrote a letter stating that uh, to the administration, uh, that it has to have a public health approach that will focus on high risk of getting infected and high risk of dying. But one of the things that you mentioned is those with essential jobs. But not all essential jobs are created equal. There are high risk essential jobs, which are the farm workers, the packing houses, the grocery store workers, and there are lower risk essential jobs like yours and others where perhaps you can and others can work from home uh, and have video uh, meetings. Uh, so one is how are you going to distinguish the Latino community in particular uh, in the distribution uh, and the higher risk and prioritize the higher risk jobs uh, over you know, the, those that don't have underlying diseases, are young and can work from home. Uh, and then finally, um, what plans uh, are there with the CDC to, and the administration to work with local, vulnerable, uh, high-risk communities like Latino, underserved communities to administer uh, and hold them accountable to ensure that the system doesn't leave out Latinos like it historically has done? Um, I don't have the answer that I think is going to satisfy you yet, but I will try to shine a light on that. This is what the CDC is responsible for doing. I can tell you in my conversations with Dr. Redfield, he's acutely aware of the points that you are making. You know, the supply chain and distribution is going to be done through the standard means, but as you point out correctly, the standard means have failed in the past. And I think we need to relook at making sure that the populations that you mentioned are addressed in the distribution of that. Again, as I mentioned uh, to Congresswoman Escobar, these are things that I can only bring up at the task force meeting. I, you know, I'm always very honest and transparent with you, Ral. I can't guarantee you I'm gonna fix it, but I at least can bring it up and make sure it's a matter of discussion.